Hello everyone and welcome to the Learning Freedom channel. Today we are reviewing the May 2020 virtual mock organized by Jim Bat. If you are new here, kindly click on the red button and the bell below the video to subscribe to the channel and get notified of new videos. Thank you. Okay, let's start now with question number 1A. Study the image below carefully and use it to answer the following questions. This is the image. We have an image here with some parts missing and labeled A and B. The question I. What action will activate the image above? So what will you do before you can get this in? You can see the desktop background there. So let's go to our desktop and see. This is the desktop. We press on the right button of the mouse or the secondary button of the mouse once. So when you do that, you just right click the mouse and then you have this image appeared as it is on our question paper. So this is it. You right click. So what action will you do to activate the image above? You just right click an empty space on the desktop next question identify the parts label a and b so this is the parts label a is on top and then b is down let's go back to the desktop we right click again we have it the first one is here the second one is down it is not the same thing because it's not the same version of windows that we are using here the a is display settings and the B is personalized. The A in some Windows version will not be display settings, but screen resolution. So screen resolution or display settings, and then personalize for the B. I, I, I outline the process involved in applying the part labeled A on the computer desktop. So what process can you, uh, how is the process? in applying the screen resolution or in changing the screen resolution so you right click again and then we click on display setting or screen resolution then we wait for a window to open this is the display resolution or screen resolution then we click on display resolution or screen resolution and you choose the resolution that best suits our monitor here i have one that is recommended to me because of my monitor and it would be different from one machine to another so if you want to change you just click on any of these resolutions here when you finish clicking on it a dialog box will appear or something will appear you just click on apply or keep changes apply or keep changes depending on the version of windows you are using so that is it for question number one a let's quickly review the question number one a so this is our image that you are studying what action will activate the image above it is right clicking an empty or blank space on the desktop identify the parts label a and b a as you can see is display settings or screen resolution and b is personalized and the iii outline the process involved in applying part a on your desktop first you right click on empty space on the desktop then you click on display settings or screen resolution when a shortcut menu appears the next one you locate and click on display resolution or adjust resolution then you choose the suitable display resolution and you click on keep changes or apply specify the following items under the headings in the table below you have books you have drone you have adidas you have amazon printer songs film mobile phone coca-cola google bluetooth news bulletin derivative works telephone nike and mcdonald's so just a quick reminder we know that copyrights grant an author exclusive right to publish and sell literary musical or artistic works so anything that is books movies music or so is 
uh, the copywriter grants the author the right to have exclusive uh, powers to, to sell and then to make those kind of things when you talk about patents we are looking at an inventor somebody that has brought out something that is new in science or technology so patent grants an inventor sole rights to a scientific invention and then when you talk about trademark it is a formally registered symbol or word that identifies the manufacturer or distributor of a product so as you are giving this items here to classify under these three headings this is what we have arrived at books songs films news bulletin and derivative works are all under copyrights because the copyright is the one that rules these things we know derivative work is just a work that is based on another work a work based on another work let's say that somebody has written a book and another person uh, after seeking permission from the author of the book has make a movie out of that book so that movie becomes a derivative works let's talk about patents now under patents we have drone you have printer you have mobile phone you have bluetooth you have telephone these all these things are technologies that somebody one day brought as the first person so the person will be delivered a patent and then you have trademark as our last it uh, heading adidas is a trademark amazon is a trademark coca-cola is a trademark google is a trademark nike is a trademark and mcdonald is a trademark so that is it also for question number one b now let's tackle the number one c this is the question use the interface below to answer the following question this is the interface you can see first name last name and all this thing and then they have been labeled one to five so the first question is identify the email service provider identify the email service provider you can see yahoo.com here so you can clearly say that it is yahoo mail or yahoo the email service provider the next question is identify the parts label i to v i to v before we identify them let's go and then look at how this thing looks like on a web browser okay this is yahoo when you tap yahoo.com and you press enter on your keyboard this is the interface that you see on your screen it might not be exactly the same thing because these pictures and code will be changing from time to time you have a yahoo mail here you have yahoo mail here so if you click on any of this thing it will send you to this page this is the page where you can sign in to your account or you can create a new one so in this case in our on our question paper we have you have been asked to create so you are creating a new account so you click on this button here creates a new account then you have what we have on our paper so this is what we have the same thing that we have in front of us here so it is sign up for yahoo mail sign up for yahoo mail or create a yahoo email address create a yahoo email address that thing has been wiped off here so we have the real thing there so the i is this part here the i is this part here that first name and surname so that is the full name of the subscriber full name of the subscriber that is the part labeled i and then here they have wiped off this email address here so the i i is email address or you can just write username there since the yeah at yahoo.com is here so email address here for ii and then here password to have been wiped off 
password has been wiped off so you have password for ii and then you have this part as well that we don't have on our paper here so you have the country code here plus one that is for the us but here we have 44 that is for uk so it is mobile phone number mobile phone number that is what is here for iv so from there you have this button that has also been clean somehow but on our paper we are having a hint here by clicking continue you agree to the terms updated and privacy updated policy so the hint is here even if you don't know it is by clicking on continue so over here the v is for continue so the v is for continue so as soon as you click on continue it to open another page for you to continue the registration or for creating your email address so quickly let's go back to what we just said so the service provider is yahoo or yahoo mail you have identified the part label i to v you have i that is the subscriber's full name you have the i i that is the username or email address you have the i i i that is the password and then you have the iv that is the phone number or the mobile phone number and then the v that is the continue that is the continue now let's move on there are some other questions the next question i i i what activity is illustrated in the interface above what activity is that as you open the web page we saw that you can sign up for yahoo mail sign up for yahoo mail or create a yahoo mail address even before we get to this one you have to click on create an account so that is the activity that is going on there so the activity we can write signing up for a yahoo or signing up to a yahoo mail account or you can say creating a yahoo mail account or registering for a yahoo mail account and now let's move to the last question that is what is the purpose of the interface above what is the purpose of this i think it's simply for creating an email account for creating an email account so the interface above is used for creating an email account on yahoo on yahoo so this is the end of this part that is the part one of our that is again our practical skills so see you in the next video for the part two the part two of the paper two before you leave if you are new on this channel and you have not yet subscribed kindly subscribe to the channel if you like the video yes give us a thumb up click on the like button and if you want to get notified about new videos just click on the bell button that is there so just subscribe and see you on the next video thanks bye